Hello dear students, in this video we will solve this question. Which electron transition emits radiation of the longest wavelength? So here uh, there are uh, four energy transitions given, electron transitions given that is A, B, C and D. And uh, we have to find out that uh, for which radiation, for which transition electron emits the radiation of the longest wavelength. So, firstly we can see that these B and uh, D transitions are uh, from the lower energy level to the higher energy level. Right? Uh, B transition is from first energy level to the third transition level uh, energy level and this D1 is from fourth energy level to the fifth energy level. In these cases uh, electron absorbs photon and uh, it excites from the lower to the higher energy level. So we have to check these remaining options that is A and C. These are the electron transitions from the higher to the lower energy levels. So these are the uh, emissions in which uh, electron emits photon or the radiations. So uh, to find out that in these options which transition is of longest wavelength firstly we have to uh, calculate the energy for these transitions for this uh, formula is delta e is equal to 1 upon n low square minus n high square into e naught so here uh, what is n low and n high these emissions are from excited uh, state or higher energy level to the lower energy level or the ground state. So, N low is this value for A transition that is N is equal to 1 and N high is the N value for the higher energy level that is N is equal to 2. So, firstly we will write for A transition n low is n is equal to 1. So, 1 to the power square minus 1 by high. High means n is equal to 2. 2 to the power 2 into e naught. So, 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to e naught. It will be 3 by 4 e naught. Right? Now we will write for the C transition. N low is N is equal to 2 because this is the C transition, right? So N is equal to 2 to the power 2 minus this value that is 4. 4 to the power 2 into E naught. So 1, minus, uh, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16. E note. After calculating it will be 3 by 16 E note. So this delta E A is equal to 3 by 4 E E note and this is e, e, uh, 3 by 16 E note. So this value is more. Delta E A is greater than delta E C. So according to, to this relation E is equal to H C upon lambda energy is inversely proportional to lambda so lambda value for a is less than lambda value of c so for c transition wavelength is longest so answer should be c option yes c option is right thank you so much for watching all the best and take care